Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 11. Now um, in the previous episode we got into a little arc I think about Subasa <coughs> and Blackstar and uh, <coughs> excuse me we're uh, getting uh, I mean uh, a little backstory of uh, Subasa and his fam uh, and her family and uh, I don't know if <coughs> like <coughs> the person who's, who she's calling brother it's like her real brother or like someone he she only calls brother uh, because she's uh, because he's older than him I don't know uh, probably be uh, her, her real brother because like we saw a little bit of flashback when she was small and her brother coming and calling him her and uh, she was like happy and everything so I think that's uh, it's her real brother but anyways um we're getting into a little backstory and her brother is Mura Mas no Masamune, <laughs> these two uh, swords name kind of confuse me, Muramasa and Masamune, anyways, uh, so yeah, and uh, <clears throat> she took it into herself to like fight her brother and stop her, so let's see what happens in this episode, so okay, uh, I'll be putting the timer and the uh, subtitles here, sync it to whichever is a preference, and let's get started, alright, I'll be starting the countdown, 3, 2, 1, go! Yoto uh, Masamune, yes. Hmm. Well, Subaki has a reason. And here she is. <coughs> Damn, the background and everything. The moon is like coughing blood, and the moon is like dark. Like the, the real moon also coughs blood, isn't it? Yeah, we've seen it coughing blood. I don't know, like, if it. If that thing has a significance or anything like importance or like it's just for the visual thing uh, I don't know <laughs> like are we going to get these uh, explanations why the Sun laughs like the Sun is like a living thing and it kind of laughs and the moon coughs out blood and everything like are, like are these all like only the visual aspect like they, they did, did did that just for like uh, the it making it vi more visually appealing and interesting or is there like real some kind of a reason for them to be like that like the sun laughing and the moon coughing blood we'll probably get to see it later on if there is something Okay. So, like more backstory, I think, from this visual. Oh my god, this guy's... Can you just chill? What the hell? Are they blinders? Oh my god. Please stop. Like, you're triggering me now. Oh god. God damn. Like, what the hell? Well, <laughs> Blackstar doesn't give a damn, <laughs> but 
Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. Oh, oh my god. Okay, um, this is uh, bad. Yeah, like this is inside her mind, so he's getting emotional damage, I think. Oh, yeah, so, uh, soul is taking damage. What? They led me here. Oh my god. Can you please stop? Like what the hell is this? Oh my god. Are what the hell? <laughs> He's eating. <laughs> what the hell is happening here? <laughs> what is that? Cognac? Okay, all right. Yeah, okay, so yeah, that's that's kind of like uh, <laughs> 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 Well his lunchbox is also stitched what what the hell? Why does it choose? Oh no! Oh god, like she's getting beaten up. Okay. It's... Weapons. All the other abilities are passed. She on, he only got the weapon. I was looked up. Wait, so he's doing these of jealousy? Oh no. Like this must be some kind of like his pride got hurt or something. So that's why he's, he's doing something like this. Marinette Storm. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, things are bad here. Oh, 
and they're still continuing oh god Nah. <laughs> I'm far too badass, okay. <laughs> Greatest ego on earth. Oh, okay, no one's listening. <laughs> yes, definitely. Damn, this guy. That's cool as always. <laughs> okay. Um, please. Oh my god. Stop this. Oh no, what? Uh, okay, wait, he pierced her. Oh no, what? What the hell? Wait, what's going to happen now? Oh yeah, well, yeah, back black stars there. Well, yeah, this is like a battle against soul. So like all of these wounds and everything, these are all like like mental things that are happening so if your mental ability is stronger than the wounds that are affected you will be able to prevail I'll talk about this later on. I have something to say here. Okay. 
All right. Well, wounds here means nothing if your soul is strong. Like this is inside, inside your psyche. So. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Damn. Oof. Man, the visuals. What's happening? Wait, she got sucked? Wait. God damn these guys. Wait, what is happening? Didn't she win? Wait, what? Oh my god, this guy. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> okay, so like she, she went inside so that she can absorb him, uh, I think. Okay, here she is. Well? <laughs> As always, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay this is really good like this episode like is Oh my god. Yes, thank you. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. This guy was like triggering me from the beginning. Like, oh.
Ana. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, everyone's waiting. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, one soul, like. <laughs> uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And here he is. Black Star. The big guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, did he get uh, Masamune form? I think Masamune form, isn't it? Yes. Damn, okay, that was a pretty good power up. Uh, damn, okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh god well he lost a lot of blood and everything oh no oh soul wavelength oh because of that okay so this is like a video game you need to be like a certain level to wield certain weapons <laughs> okay <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, that was a really good episode. Ah. Uh, <laughs> damn. Oh. Now, uh, one thing I was going to talk about, like, uh, that is uh, Masamune, uh, Subaki's brother. Now, like, his problem was, like, he was a bit too, I think, I, I, as far as I can understand, like, he was a bit m more, like, prideful and had a little bigger ego than others. So, like like um he was supposed to get everything uh, like as far as i understood from uh, the backstory he said like he was the guy who was supposed to get all of the um, uh, powers and all the techniques that have been passed down in their family and uh, okay let's see if this is the end um yeah it is the end Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, like he was supposed to get everything, um, uh, all of those uh, techniques that are like passed down in your family and everything. But uh, like, and also here's another thing, like uh, he was supposed to get everything, so he has a huge ego, he has a pride and everything, and because of that reason as well, that thing accounted to a more bigger ego and more pride. And uh, Subaki was this girl who was like always. Uh, 
the kind of person who like as he said that uh, it was uh, Camille, Camille, Camellia isn't it yeah uh, uh, or Camilla flower I, I'm, I'm forgetting the name anything anyways um, and it did not have any scent it not did not have any uh, feel like uh, good qualities or like anything like that so that was like uh, he was like uh, comparing that to Subaki and uh, he like felt like what do you call it pity for her and uh, played with her and everything definitely he loved her as a brother but uh, other than that he, he also I think kind of felt pity for her because of that so when the time came and like he was only given the like uh, weapon thing and all of the techniques were passed to Subaki like his ego and his pride shattered and like the person whom he had always uh, pitied like a, like a, a type of time came where like he was the person who was pitied by all the, the others and he was unable to like um, accept that and so like um, and also the, here's another thing like uh, when they were playing like and uh, he asked her like what do you want to play she said uh, I want to play Kemari, like uh, some kind of like uh, kicking the ball or something I think it, it means and uh, then he said that uh, you don't want to play this do you and then now here's the thing Subaki wanted to play house but since uh, his brother being a uh, boy did not want to play those kind of games she said that no okay I'll play Kemari which uh, his brother was more likely to play with her just because he, she wanted to spend more time with her brother and that was the reason why she said that no I want to play Kemari but his brother having a bigger ego and everything all the sprite problems he misinterpreted it he thought that no she was uh, pitying me and like uh, I did not get anything and so this was a pity thing that she was uh, giving on me uh, feeling for me and uh, like these are all of these misunderstandings that uh, kind of piled up and like this happened I think if I'm wrong about anything please be sure to correct me in the comment section and this reminded me of another thing a lot that is uh, if you guys have seen My Hero Academia I, I'm sure like you guys have seen it because like it's one of the pop most popular shows now um, this reminded me of Bakugo and Deku a lot like the problem is like Bakugo is a lot more volatile like he is extremely like prideful extremely like uh, what do you call it has a, a huge ego and everything but he's a good kid deep down and like Bakugo is a bit like far too far-fetched but uh, this guy seemed uh, like a diluted version of Bakugo and like the problems are the same they all have like huge egos and like the people whom they kind of pitied before if they kind of like uh, hold a helping hand to you obviously your, your, your pride is going to get hurt and if they are like accomplishing more than you accomplish uh, your pride is going to get hurt even more and all of these things kind of like uh, made a kind of hatred kind of thing that he felt towards his sister and everything uh, similar to uh, Bakugo feeling uh, like uh, jealous and hatred towards Deku because all of those reasons and there are many other reasons as well because as Bakugo uh, also like uh, <coughs> looked up to All Might but All Might gave attention to Deku, uh, Deku and all of these reasons Anyways, I'm not talking about My Hero Academia here. I'm talking about Soul Eater here. So, um, like that, uh, this happened. So, I think like that was the main problem here. Like him being unable to uh, like talk uh, openly with his sister and being un and his sister also being unable to like express whatever she felt uh, honestly to her brother. So yeah, that was like all of those problems kind of like piled up one up on the other and this happened. Like this is mainly because of inferiority complex, uh, having a big pride, ego and all of these things. Like uh, these things happen like this, these are not like anything unusual but uh, yeah like if you have a huge ego and like if you, th 
if you like you've been like called the have always been called the best and suddenly someone else who was like uh, below you started to become more popular or more uh, better than you then uh, this kind of things happens so yeah that was the problem like the main thing between Subaki and her brother and uh, I, as far as I got I think this is what was happening like uh, like if there's something I missed or some, something that I did not understand or get, uh, please be sure to <laughs> correct me down in the comments. And uh, yeah, okay. So let's talk about the episode. Like uh, I talked about the situation with the brother and sister already, and uh, like uh, this episode like really triggered me. Like the way they were like hitting Black Star. Um, like oh god, like that was. Like it, like it did not make me, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like I, I get it. Like Black Star was like doing that just because of Subaki, but <laughs> like the like uh, the anger kind of got to me. Like, uh, like you don't hit people like that without any reason. Like when they are like not uh, re retaliating, uh, you you don't do that. That that's very like what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? It kind of like triggered me and everything. And uh, okay, so that was the, that. And um, <clears throat> and what else? Like yeah, Subaki was like uh, I have talked about the main thing here, like the problem between uh, Subaki and her brother. And uh, she kind of like sorted that out inside herself. And the way that like they were fighting inside the um, what do you call that? That mental place, that uh, imaginary place uh, inside the soul, the the soul, the souls were fighting. So, like any kind of like um, like here's the, here's the thing. Like the main factor here in winning was your soul have to be more determined. Your soul has to be more stronger than the other party. And like uh, getting wounded and everything won't result to actual wounds, but they they're like uh, hitting uh, each other with their um, determination and everything. And uh, their soul, their soul was were fighting. So, like uh, when Subaki was like stabbed, if this was like in the real world, she would definitely have gotten a lot injured. Might might even like been hospitalized, or she might might have even died. But because this was like inside the soul, uh, she got stabbed. But that was like nothing to be like uh, like that was not like the final blow because. Uh, even like even if she was stabbed and like uh, uh, wounded very badly if her soul was like determined and was like stronger than the opponents she could easily like overpower him and that's what happened and uh, like the thing his brother was going on was like all of those negative things hatred um, jealousy um, ego uh, everything pride and all of these things he, he was his soul's most fighting fuel fuel were these things whereas uh, Subaki's uh, were like uh, all of the positive things that like and uh, uh, trust from black star land uh, every, all of the other things determination um, what else uh, strength uh, like soul strength or whatever like all of these things uh, confidence and everything these were the things that were powering up Subaki, so obviously he won, she won, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, what else? Um, let's see. Yeah, that was the episode. Like there was a fighting inside the soul and everything, and Blackstar was like continu continually being beaten up, and oh my god, that was like <laughs> so. <laughs> so kind of uh, and uh, yeah like this was a really good episode um, I really enjoyed this like uh, uh, was there any other episode like this um, no I don't think so like there were like a lot of funny episodes and like comedy filled episodes and there was like kind of like a heartfelt emotional episode which was like um, when Bla when soul uh, like uh, took um, Maka's hit for himself and um, like he went into coma and everything and Maka was kind of like coping up about her inferiority complex about uh, only soul uh, helping her and he, her being unable to do anything to help soul 
so that was kind of like an emotional episode but this was like uh, one of the best um, up until now uh, in department of emotions and feels and everything and this was a really nice episode like uh, we got to so see the most of the backstory of uh, Subaki and I really I, I hope that uh, Black Star's past is also like uh, what do you call it uh, explored later on so that's another thing uh, like I'm looking forward to and uh, yeah the, <laughs> the villagers were like oh god they were like hitting him every and everything like uh, I get it like they were like uh, treated badly before but that's n not how you treat others who is not um, being violent towards you like they were like all paranoid and everything and hitting him even though he was not retaliating so yeah like, it, like if black star fought back like that would, wouldn't have triggered me but the main thing that triggered me was like they were continually hitting him even though he was like sitting down like um that was really bad like like at, like uh, at least uh, if you have some kind of human emotion you should like at that kind of like situation you would at least get kind of like uh, surprised like yeah i'm hitting this guy continually and he's not doing anything he's just sitting down and you would like take two steps back if things like that happen. but these guys were just like hitting him on and on and on and on like even though he even if he she were, he was not doing anything and that kind of like triggered me like what the hell like if he fought back i can get it like they were trying they could like uh do that and I, it would have been okay but he was not doing anything he was not being violent he was doing nothing he wasn't even like uh, shouting towards them or like doing uh, something against uh, them but uh, what can i say anyways and the only time he kind of retaliated was like when they targeted uh, subaki and yeah and uh, so yeah that was his episode that was a really nice episode i really enjoyed it and uh, yeah so uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and be sure to uh, uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed uh, we're nearly at 100 subscribers and i'm really excited so uh, if you have not subscribed please be sure to do so and uh, like it would uh, really help and uh, yeah and uh, also be, uh, be sure to comment down below if you have anything you want to share with me and like i have uh, said a lot of things like kind of like um, what do you call it uh, like i kind of like deduced uh, whatever that happened like it was not not a, some kind of uh, detective deduction or anything but i kind of like saw what was happening and i kind of like thought like yeah things like this might have been the main reason like they did not say the main reason why his brother did these things so i kind of like deduce that and if something was wrong like uh, if i got something wrong or misunderstand that something uh, uh, and if it is not spoilerish please be sure to comment down below and correct me on those kind of things so yeah be sure to comment down below and uh, i'll be back with a new soul eater episode uh, after one day yes after one day so yeah, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.